Today I'm going to be doing something I have not done. I have made limoncello. I have a video on that. I have a... I think I have a video on doing it with grapefruit, which I believe is called Pompel Mocello or something like that. But the other one that I've heard about many times but never tried is either called Orangello or Orange Cello. And you can even buy a commercial version of that that I've seen. So, I'm going to do some orange jello, and I have some leftover cranberries that I've had in my freezer for a long time, and I thought, why not try it with some cranberries? So, uh, let's take a look at the ingredients. Let's get started. Here are the cranberries, about one and three quarter pound, one and a half to one and three quarter pound. Five oranges, mostly chosen for their large size and hopefully thick peel. And two liters of very high proof grain neutral spirits. I live in Minnesota, but I can buy this in Wisconsin, just a 20 minute drive away. Otherwise, you can get as high a proof as you can find and or also just use vodka. For the cranberries, I think you would at least want the skins to be broken so the alcohol can get uh, fully in there. Um, I'm hoping this isn't going to make a huge mess um, and I'm not going to do a whole lot of filming here. But basically, I'm just going to try to crush these up a bunch or at least a bit. I mean, it really I could crush them up a lot. It doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to kind of try to get them all mashed up and then I'll get them in the one gallon jug. Got the mushed up cranberries in their jug. Took a little bit of effort. I had to use a funnel and then I had to use like the end of a racking cane to punch them down in there, but got them in there. Okay, so now we want the orange peel. Um, there's not a whole lot of, to film here, but um, I did uh, wash these very well. These are not organic uh, oranges today like I, I have been doing with the lemons. Um, I decided to just get non-organic ones because mostly I wanted as thick of a peel whew, as you could get. Um, people generally say you don't want to get too much of the white pith when you're peeling. I'm just getting a little bit and I'm going to consider that fine. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and peel all these and get these orange peels into the next jug. I want to say a word about the amount of oranges that I chose. When I've done the uh, limoncello, I've, you, if you watch the video, I think I have 12 or 13 of those very tiny organic lemons. So. I just kind of figured these oranges have to have about twice as many uh, peelings per orange. So I went with five uh, large ones. There was one guy on YouTube who was making this uh, orange cello, he calls it. And he had up to 13 oranges. So he had a lot more than I am doing. I guess what I'll do is I'll keep an eye on the color development of this and if it's not to the color that I think I would want to see, I will just peel up some more and dump them in. One thing that will be different when I'm doing the cranberries, which is going to be similar to when I do ra the raspberry, is I'm going to actually get some more liquid volume out of this fruit that you don't really get any liquid volume out of uh, the peels. So that will have to be taken into consideration when I'm figuring out how much uh, simple syrup solution to make. But uh, we'll get to that. Now these are going to be uh, put a bung on here and a airlock. And they're going to be in a dark room for about a month. Every couple of days if I think about it I'll swirl them. And otherwise they're just going to sit back, uh, sit for a month and we'll check back at that time. Uh, the other thing I like to do when I've done it with um, the lemons is I go ahead and juice up all the lemons and then on this case the oranges and then make ice cubes and then put them in a bag 
And then when I'm drinking the limoncello or the grapefruit one, I did it with that as well. You can throw in an ice cube into the drink and give it a little je ne sais quoi. Uh, also, I think I had sort of like a regular pale... <laughs> I'm getting photobombed. Uh, pale, you know, light uh, beer. And you can throw in, uh, you know, a couple of lemon juice cubes or grapefruit and give it a little extra flavor that way too. So anyway, back to the aging of the stuff and we'll come back in a month. It's been a month, so let's bottle this stuff. I'm going to start with the orange peel, which will be the easier of the two. This is very similar to grapefruit, limoncello. I just have a bag here. Um, I'm just going to get all these peels out, let them drip in this draining bag for a little bit, and go to the next step. So here is my orange collection. Actually, I haven't given it a smell. Let me see. Oh man, that stuff. Oh my gosh. 95% alcohol. It's just that's what you smell. Uh, okay, so what I have here, what I'm doing with both of these, this is four cups of water, three cups of sugar, and it is boiled for about. There it goes. Turns to that murky color as soon as it gets added. Boiled for 10 minutes. All you do now is stir it up well and then bottle. Alright, these came out nice. I won't really get much of a taste until uh, I'm going to leave them in the freezer for a day or so. Alright, so this is going to be a little trickier because of all this extra fruit. Um, I'm going to see what happens here. I'm going to try to pour the fruit into here. So that will allow me to squeeze it. Squeeze out the alcohol. Because I've got a lot of alcohol in a lot of these berries. Not to mention color and cranberry juice. So, see what happens here. This might be one of these ones where I stop the video and take care of business and report back. But most of it came out. So I'll get the rest of these berries out, squeeze out the juice, and go on to the next step. So this is going to be more volume. The orange one was um, not as high, and that's because of all the juice. Which I am aware of, um, and first time I did a raspberry one, I sort of accounted for it, and I decreased the sugar solution, but then I didn't like the result, so then I just did it the same amount and just had a slightly less alcoholic thing, and I like that more, so that's what I'm doing now. Uh, four cups of water three cups of sugar. Now this is interesting. Must be the citrus. I was expecting it to go milky like the grapefruit and limoncello and orange peel is, but it must be something in the zest, uh, something in the citrus of the peel. I guess if I think about the raspberry one, that really didn't get murky either. It stayed a little bit clearer. So I will get this stirred up and bottled and I will probably end up with an extra pint maybe so we'll see when it all gets done so here it is all bottled I got 10 ounces extra in this pint jar so that makes me think I got around uh, 10 ounces of cranberry juice so the alcohol in this is slightly less than in the orange but as you can see it was 95% to begin with. I'm cutting it in half, so that's still 42.5%. The ras, uh, sorry, cranberry is probably, you know, upper 30s. 
I will put some of this in the freezer and give it a taste and uh, that will be the end of this video. So here they are a couple of days after bottling. Let's just do a little quick little taste here. I also want to reiterate that I added two more oranges, uh, the peels, um, than uh, on the on the first day of peeling them, which I think I'll put a comment on the screen for you. So this one, whew, they're still very strong. They get a little bit mellower sitting around for a little while. This one definitely has an orange flavor. Um, I never really try to smell these things. Um, it does taste good. Uh, I like the color too. You know, it got got nice and orangey. Um, I still think, though, I could have done even more oranges. I kind of forget now if I did five and then added two, so it would be seven. Or I think that's what I did. Um, or did I start with seven? At any rate, I think I could have even done a couple more. Um, also, I kind of was thinking of maybe you could throw in, like, tangelos something with a little different flavor might also just kind of make it a little stronger I like the flavor I like the viscosity all that's pretty good but it could have a little more flavor now the cranberry one um, has more fruit flavor than the orange one but it also reminds me of the raspberry one, which I believe I do have a video on. And part of that might be because there's actually a, bu a bunch of juice from the fruit in this drink. It's really nice. It's uh, also kind of, just for now, it's kind of clear, too. There's some condensation here, but it turned out pretty clear. Um, it has a really good cranberry flavor, a lot of sweetness from all the sugar, and that one's one I could see doing again, and I think I had quite a bit of fruit. I can't remember if I weighed. I think I said like one pound and a half, one pound three quarters or something, which is quite a bit of fruit for uh, one liter of uh, soaking it. But anyway, I call these a success. Uh, they're certainly drinkable and different and fun to have in the freezer. I've got uh, how many of these now? Five or so that I've done. So uh, if you want to give it a try, go for it. Let me know how it turns out. Thanks for watching.